Hey everybody, this is Pastor Michael at Ascension Lutheran Church in Torrance, California. It's time for another midweek boost. In Ephesians chapter 6, Paul writes this, We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with principalities and powers and rulers of this present darkness. Now what that means is this, that it's never another human being that we wrestle with, but rather it's the devil and the unseen evil forces that are in the world. That's always what, what we're truly wrestling against. Now, a person may say something that angers us. Uh, they may do something, hurt us. But it's, it's the evil forces that take what has been done, take what's been said, or or even the evil forces themselves that are are being voiced by that person. That person's just being a tool sometimes of the evil forces. We see this happen one time when Jesus is telling his disciples that he has got to suffer and be killed by the religious leaders of the day. And Peter chimes in, Lord, may it never be. And Jesus responds to him, get behind me, Satan. Jesus understood that it was Satan's words that were coming, coming through Peter. Uh, Peter was the conduit. He, he was being a tool of Satan at the moment. But it was, it was Satan's words that, that were a threat against Jesus and were a temptation for Jesus to say, yeah, I don't have to go through this. May it never be. Jesus knew better. And he knew exactly where the temptation and the lie was coming from. So his anger was not really directed at Peter, but at the true source of the lie. We need to be able to do the same thing. To understand that Sometimes people are tools of Satan and they say things and do things that are evil. But we need to know who the real evil is and it is, it's Satan. And sometimes Satan just uses what people say or do uh, and twists it in a way that angers us and frustrates us. And we need to realize that it's always always Satan that is the problem and not the other human being. This help, helps us to really be tolerant of other humans, especially those in our family, our, our spouses. Sometimes they can be tools of Satan too and can say things that hurt us, injure us, scar us. We need to understand that it's, it's Satan that wants to use those things against us and, and turn our insides out and make us angry and resentful and, and sometimes even hateful. The devil loves seeing us torn up like that. We need to remember who our true enemy is and it's never another human being. But we should pray for everyone around us, especially those right in our midst, our family members, our spouses, our children, our parents and grandparents, everybody that you know, we're in close contact with right now during this COVID-19 business. And, and maybe you know, things are said that irritate us or people aggravate us, listen, they're not your enemy. Your enemy is always Satan who wants to unsettle you and bring your spirit out of rest and faith in Jesus Christ and, and bring you to turmoil so that you respond in anger and anxiety, frustration and rage. That's the devil's doing. God wants us to understand who our true enemy is. And it's never another human being. Have a good night.